Hey, this is CG1 and thank you so much for joining me once again. I want to talk to you about the essential qualities required to work successfully in a team. It's a big challenge a lot of the times when you are put in a project where you have to work in a team or it might be at work and you have these projects that you are working in a team or this department that you're part of or you might have a business and you have people that you work with. All of these scenarios in life put you in a position where you have to work with others and a lot of the times you take the wrong approach. So I want to talk to you about three key qualities that make you an exceptional team worker. The first one is be selfless. It's all about selflessness and in much sense there is. There isn't nothing worse than having a team worker who is plain old selfish, always thinking about themselves. Whenever anything good happens, they're thinking about, oh, I was I that done it, always taking credit. It's really sickening really to have someone who's just selfish. So being selfless is about putting other people's agenda even ahead of yours. It's about knowing that it's not about yourself, it's about we. It's all about others and not so much just about yourself. So selflessness is key. The next thing is have passion for others. One of the reasons why people don't like working with people is because they don't like others. They say, oh, I'm not really a people person. Well, the bad news is that so much of life requires you to work with others. You might be even be part of a family that requires you to work with them. So you can't escape it. You have to cultivate a passion for others. And I always remind people that the boundaries of your passion should be rooted in your compassion. What is compassion? It's having a deep concern for others where you realize that you know it's not just about you. It's caring enough about people's problems and not just looking at it and just turning the eye. See, when you have a deep concern for others, it automatically moves you to action. You can't stay silent when you know that, ah oh, man, your brother, your sister, or the person next to you, your neighbor, is struggling with issues. You see, having passion for others stems from a deep concern for them. It's knowing that, ah, oh, you want them to succeed, so you're gonna do your best. Ah, oh, look at the issues that they're struggling with. It's not just about thinking about yourself and just having your own agenda. It's looking beyond that. The third and final thing in terms of quality that requires you to be an exceptional team worker is really about learning to connect with others. It's about finding a common ground where you're not just on your own agenda, but it's looking at, oh, how can I connect and find things that we have in common. Yeah, we share similar vision. Yeah, we have similar skills or similar behavior. It's about connecting and finding similarities. It's been said our similarities create our comfort zone. And one thing that when you meet people or people that you're working with is to always share your similarities. It's learning to connect with others not just having this business agenda and this agenda that we need to do. It's about caring enough and asking the question that goes beyond what the aim is. Connecting with people show people a saw that you care for them, you're passionate about them, and also you're selfless and you're not just thinking about yourself. It's been said that if you help others get what they want, then you will get what you want. And it's so important, but sadly a lot of the times we wanna just chase after our own agenda and get what we want before we can help others whilst we're meant to reverse the process. So these three things I wanted to share with you to learn to be selfless, have passion for others, and learning to connect with others. These qualities will help you to be an exceptional team worker. This is CG1 and you have the seed of greatness.
Thank <laughs> you.